Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to create a top navigation bar in HTML and we'll be using a little bit of CSS as well. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I already have an HTML template. I'm assuming you guys have some basic knowledge of HTML, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a division class. And basically what a division class is, is um, it's kind of like, it's kind of like drawing and creating like dividers or borders, right? Some pieces of code, you want to have its own class. So you could use it in um, CSS to stylize it. So I'm going to go ahead and create one. So div class equals, and we're going to name the class top nav, right? Short for top navigation bar. And um, the IDE that I'm using, it automatically creates the closing tag for me, as you can see. It's called Visual Studio Code, by the way, if you guys want to use it. Um, the next step into creating a top navigation bar, you'll have to create a list. Because basically what a top navigation bar is a list, but it's horizontally arranged and made into buttons using CSS. So <clears throat> let's start off with a list class. We're gonna name this home, right? And name it home. And we might as well check on our web page to see what it's looking like. Should have something popping up. Exactly, we got something popping up, right? This is gonna be our first link, and this is gonna to be to the home page of our website. Um so we're going to have a home button, we're going to have a news button, and we're going to have a contact button. I think that's enough buttons to have on our website. So we got our home button. You're going to have to create another another um another list. This one's going to be news. My bad, guys. So basically, when you see I'm putting the, the star symbol, pound symbol, I mean, um, this is where you're going to put your actual web page. So when you create web pages, you're going to have different multiple web pages. So one's going to probably be named home.html. Another one's going to be named news.html. So right here, this is where you'll put it. And that will, when you click this link, it'll take you to the home page. But for now, since it's just a tutorial, I'm just going to put this right here. Because if I click this, it's not going to take us anywhere because I haven't made a home page. But since it's just a tutorial, I'll leave it. I'm going to have a contact page. <clears throat> Control S to save. And boom. All right, so since we've already created the HTML content, 
for our HTML file, we're now gonna be linking our CSS file. So this code right here is what I added into the HTML document to link it to the CSS file. And I created a new file, the name is tutorial.css, and it's located in the same folder as the tutorial.html. So we're gonna head over to the tutorial.css file and top navigation bar, bracket, close bracket. All right, set the background color. Or black. So now we're gonna start with the top nav bar. Basically what's this gonna do is create a background color for our navigation bar. Hold on, I didn't save it yet. All right, so as you can see, we have a black background for our navigation bar. Next, we're gonna align our navigation bar. We're gonna align the text in our navigation bar. Float left, okay. and set the color. What color should I go with? Line the text. Uh, we're gonna do center because we want the text to be spaced out. Set the padding. This is gonna set the padding for each of the text boxes. Text decoration is going to remove the underlining that you see right there. And we're going to set the font size. 17 pixels should do it. Let's save it. All right, now it's starting to look more and more like a proper navigation bar. <laughs> 